Hey everyone, it's Victoria, and uh, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to tell you that I like to keep things in the subject of health, and that covers so many different aspects. Uh, it's not just food, it's not just physical, it's mental also. There's a lot of stuff that I really believe have an effect on the way you're going to do things in your life. Um, there's so many peaks and so many valleys that you can go through, and it's going to keep happening over and over again. Sometimes you hit lows and you stay low and sometimes you don't know why and you can't get out of it. And there are a lot of reasons for it. First of all, women go through a lot of PMS and hormones right before their menstrual cycle and it's not even something that they can control, but it can be helped a lot. I've noticed a difference um, over the years of eating a lot of fruit helps my mood and changes me in a way where I feel more stable. But I definitely still do have those those dips and I you know I know they're coming and I know they're there and the key is to really know yourself and really get with the program, like with your own program. Like if there's one thing you need to know, it's yourself. Because without that you really can't help anybody else and you can't really function and you're not really good for anyone at that point or yourself and I really believe that you have to really tune in and fine tune who you are and you can help yourself so much better that way by knowing exactly when it's coming and how to cope with it and learning to cope with that is going to be a very big, big um, gift that you can give yourself and to others around you because it's not easy living with somebody that has like all these hormonal dips and not know what to do with them. Um, when you see a child is really, really tired, you see they're acting really, really crazy or whatever, and you just don't know what to do about it. Well, you have to understand that we all have these dips and we all have these things that we have to take care of. It's a checklist. And just as you know, a mother knows or an adult knows that if a baby's crying, there's obviously something they're crying about. We're no different when we get older, we're just not crying about it. Now, you could hit depression, and I've said this in other videos, but you could hit depression and seriously stay there for a while. I know that if I don't pull myself out, like literally out of quicksand, I will not be able to get out of it for a really long time, and I think it's our duty to just get out of it quickly. No matter how you do it, I, I'm talking about without taking you know, harsh drugs or anything like that, naturally. To do this naturally, I really think that walking, going for a walk and just getting out of the situation or getting out of your house and away from people and really that's an act of meditation and just do something that helps you soothe yourself. We all want to soothe ourselves and whatever it takes to get self-soothing feelings, you're going to feel so much better afterwards. An hour of a walk will do you such good. I can't tell you. A, a hike, a run, a bike, a swim. Anything that gets your mind out. Read a book. Get a manicure. Do your own nails. Um, whatever makes you feel pampered. Whatever makes you feel like you're getting your needs met. You will get out of the depression so much better. And it is a serious problem. People don't know how to get out of depression. And maybe it's maybe you have to call a friend. Reach out. Oh, you're depressed because nobody called you. Who cares? You call them. You reach out. Odds are they're not even thinking that they didn't call you. They're, you know, you're, it's probably bigger in your head. Usually it's bigger in your head when you think that somebody's not liking you. And you know what? It's a good lesson to learn also. If somebody doesn't like you, there's another person after that. It's really, I think that a lot of people place a lot of importance on other people. And I'm not saying I am innocent of that in that field, I definitely had that before. I don't have it now, which is why I could talk about it. And when, why I could tell you that you will not die if somebody's not interested in you. You will get over it. And life is so much better when you have somebody that is interested in you. So it's actually a good thing when they're out of your life. So I, I have girlfriends that are dating and, I have, and I've, I've heard over and over before that, you know, the, the feeling that somebody gets when they're not being liked or taken care of by that one person is just, it's, it's heartbreaking to watch because I think that if you really liked yourself a lot more, 
maybe this comes with age or diet or whatever, but if you really liked yourself a whole lot more, you would not be as insecure and you wouldn't care as much. I'm not talking about people that are in a long-term relationship or marriage and have kids and everything like that. That's tough. I'm talking, I mean, and even that can go away because you could seriously fall in love with yourself. And I used to care a lot, but then I really started to, to enjoy myself. I really started to really like me. And I can't explain how that happened. I guess I started getting more confident with the diet change of eating more fruits and vegetables, taking care of my needs. And my kids got older, I was able to do that. And I was able to exercise more and I just felt much better about myself. Started to improve, everything started to improve. My outlook, my looks, everything just started to get better. And that's the name of the game, you know? Take care of you. You can't take care of anybody else and you can't be attractive even to anybody else because if you don't like you, who else is gonna like you? You really have to learn how to like yourself first beyond anybody else. I'm not talking about unconditional love for your children. We get that, you put them first, okay. But even then, you put yourself first in a way where they're not in danger. You know, we're not talking about like, you know, doing your nails and eating while your kid is in pain or, you know, needs you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how they're taken care of. It's time for you. Or take care of yourself while your child is sleeping, if they're an infant, and then you'll have a lot more reserve and help others help your children that way just like an airplane you get on an airplane and you have to put the oxygen on first because you can't you're no good for anybody if, if you're dead and if you don't feel well so take care of your needs first don't feel guilty about it do not feel like you're doing something bad always feel like you are in control of your own ship you are the star of your own show you are it you know and is it if it sounds selfish and conceited so be it. Who cares what it sounds like? You take care of yourself and I guarantee others will be happier around you. Alright, that's my message for today. See ya. Bye.